Here we have a cost revenue profit example. A local courier service estimates its monthly operating cost to be $1,500 plus 0.85 or 85 cents per delivery. The service generates revenue, so I'm going to underline that, revenue of $6 for each delivery. Let x equal the number of deliveries in a given month. So that last sentence is very, very important. For part A, we're asked to write a function c of x to represent the monthly costs for making x deliveries per month. So c of x is our cost function where our output is the cost of making our deliveries and the input is the number of deliveries in a given month. Well, the first sentence gives us an idea, monthly operating costs. So we have $1,500. That is a flat rate. No matter how many deliveries we make, it's going to cost us $1,500 to operate our business. Plus 0 0.85 or 85 cents per delivery. So every delivery we make, we are going to incur a cost of 85 cents. So here is a function that represents the monthly cost for making X deliveries per month. So pay close attention to what your variables represent and to the particular function that you're asked to write and that will help you come up with the correct quantities. For part B, write a function r of x that represents the revenue for making x deliveries per month. So how much do we make on each delivery? So revenue r of x is, we are told here, $6 for each delivery. So that will be $6, everything here is in terms of dollars, times each delivery. And so the first part is how much it costs us to run our business every month per delivery. The second part is how much revenue we get for each delivery. What we normally want to know in a business situation is how much do we have to deliver? How many deliveries do we need to make to make a profit? And that's what's going on in part C. Write a function P of X that represents the monthly profit for making X deliveries per month. So all of these quantities line up. P of X, that's our profit function. The way we determine that is, and this is a standard function that works across many, many problems, is revenue minus cost. So this profit function, notice, is an example of function subtraction. Revenue minus cost. So we're going to insert our revenue function in parentheses, which is 6x, and subtract our cost function also in parentheses. Very, very important that you put these two functions in parentheses because what I'm going to have to do is to remove the parentheses from revenue. That just becomes 6x. But when I remove the parentheses from the cost function, the negative that is in front will distribute to each of the terms in parentheses. So I obtain negative 1500 minus 0.85x. If I now combine like terms, I can obtain a final representation for my profit function 6x minus 0.85x gives me 5.15x minus 1,500. So this is our profit each month when we make x deliveries. Notice something about this function. If I make zero deliveries, that would be illustrated by p of zero, what is my profit? How would I figure that out? Well, I would plug in zero for x, so no deliveries means this 5.15 times zero is zero, and I would just end up with negative $1,500.
So if I don't make any deliveries, then my profit is negative, meaning I lose what are my fixed costs. So this part makes total and complete sense based upon the information that we were given in the first part of the problem. So take a minute once you write your profit function and make sure that the function makes sense in terms of the context of the problem. All right, let's look at part D because what we usually want to know with the profit function is how many deliveries do we need to make or how many items do we need to sell or whatever the situation is to break even because the break even point is where we're even money with revenue and cost. When we do a little bit more, we make a few more deliveries, we're going to start to make money. So let's figure out where that is. So the break even point, one way that we can determine is to solve the equation P of X equals zero. Now notice this is completely different than what we calculated over here. P of zero, that's an input of zero. This is an output of zero. We want to know where the profit is zero because right after that we're going to start making money. So the way we do that is we set our profit function that we just found equal to zero and then we solve for x because that's going to tell us how many deliveries we need to make in order to break even. So I'm going to add 1500 to both sides giving me 5.15x equals 1500 and if I divide and I round to the nearest hundredths I get 291.26 but let's make something logical out of this number. I'm not going to make 291.26 deliveries. I'm going to go ahead and round that up to the nearest delivery above. So if I were just rounding as a mathematical number, I would round to 291. But in the context of this situation, I need to round to 292. Because if I round to 291, my profit is going to be not yet zero. It's going to be negative. So the rounding is very, very important on these problems. So let's see if we can make some sense out of this result and write up a final result. So let's say then that we would need to sell or excuse me, we're not selling, we are making deliveries. So let's write that. We would need to make 292 deliveries each month to break even. And there you have it.